Hello Visual Effects people, I'm AK, this is Fluid Ninja Live version 1.1. Two new levels added. Level 21 is coming with more key settings. And let's see what we have here. Well, uh, five stages, really. And if we start the stages, uh, stage 2 is just like a reminder. Because many of you have been bumping into this issue of how to make things collide with the simulation container. And this is shortly recapping what you should and should not do. Um, stage 3 is really not a new feature, but again just a collection of existing parameters and features uh, pointing how to set up a stage to make it wrapped tiled. As you could see, uh, if I remove this sphere and restart the simulation, start to draw here. The simulation area is tiled. So why is it important? Well, have a look at this sphere. Uh, if I fly around, you can easily notice that there is no seam, UV seam. So it's like a, a continuum. Uh, the pressure waves are going around and this could be achieved only if we could do tiled simulation area. Okay, uh, stage 4 introduces a new feature. And the new feature is, uh, let me exit the gameplay, that normally we had these large yellow cubes around the simulation area showing the interaction volume. And this is what we have been using to detect objects. Uh, colliding objects. In this case, we are using the trace mesh itself and this gives us an opportunity to precisely detect the impact on the surface. And here's the description how to do that. And there's one more feature here, mesh displacement. Again, uh, it's an existing feature. You could easily apply displacement or word position offset on uh, meshes on scene geometry and use the fluid simulation data to drive this distortion. And we have also uploaded a new material that is calculating the correct uh, surface normals. So you could do like um, reflections and refractions and all these. And so this big red blob here, ah yeah, let me remove this guy. This big red blob is like a combination of all these features. It's a trace mesh detecting a surface hit and it's using mesh displacement and a tiled wrapped simulation area and surface normals. So uh, finally um, we end up with this wobbly thing. And if I wobble it a little bit, these uh, pressure waves are moving around and coming back on the other side so it's perfect to make like water droplets or whatever we would like to. What else we have? Well, uh, we had a, a, summer, a separate uh, demonstration level called Tears because some of you have been asking if we could do this and so this is like a, an inclusion of these Tears demo level into this level 21 and later on we could extend this into to uh, paint flow thing. And here we have a few more examples on this uh, thing when the trace mesh is used to detect a surface hit. So we have a very precise location and it could be used to create impacts or bullet holes or whatever we would like to create. Well shortly that's uh, level 21. And let's move on to level 22 and it's really uh, a simple level. It's demonstrating how much uh, skeletal meshes you could have simultaneously. And the number is 20. In the previous versions of Ninja Live it was 10, but now we could have 20 skeletal meshes. And uh, I demonstrate what happens if 21 walks into the area. Well, nothing. Because we have error handling. In older versions of Ninja Light, we have like a pretty red big error message, but now nothing happens. Oh yeah, a debug message we have, but it could be switched off. 
But the thing is that the area is telling you that it's too many of these skeletal meshes. And uh, some of you have uh, started to test metahumans. And I really like metahumans, but an important difference between the classic mannequin and the new metahuman character is that metahumans are composed of multiple skeletal meshes. Now, this limitation of 20 is for the number of skeletal meshes, which means if you have a metahuman with five skeletal mesh components, and you could have altogether four metahumans in a single area, because that is adding up to 20 skeletal meshes. So that's the math behind it. And these are the two uh, new uh, tutorial levels in Ninja 1.1. And we have two more placeholder levels, uh, which is preparing the scene for volumetrics. That's going to happen uh, in a few weeks. And probably volumetrics is going to be released for UE Unreal Engine 24.26. In the lower versions, these levels remain empty, so it's like uh, placeholders. But we might see, because uh, there is a custom Raymart shader which might be able to run the same thing in lower UE versions, but I'm not completely sure about this yet. So uh, thank you for your patience and see you next time.